Hello guys and welcome to Tech Design. Uh, in my previous tutorial, we have discussed you about uh, uh, flange command uh, in sheet metal workbench. So it is a part of a flange command. So the next part will be uh, explaining you on uh, flange uh, relief as well as some uh, geometry mirror options inside the flange command. So before going to start that, I'll just go to new file and let me create a sheet metal part here. So click OK as in you to enter the click OK with the sheet metal workbench you will be able to see all the commands related to sheet metals. So as you can see here <coughs> this will you know uh, ensure that you are in sheet metal. Suppose in mis by mistake if you are in a modeling uh, you can directly go to you know applications here and you can go to sheet metal uh, or else you can have a shortcut over there control shift M. So that will take you to sheet metal workbench. So in the flange command, uh, we have uh, discussed all about uh, insert and uh, length and length uh, reference all these commands in my previous tutorials. Uh, if you have not checked my previous tutorial, please go ahead and uh, check it in my uh, sheet metal playlist. So in this video, I'm just going to show you how this, uh, uh, what is this called, uh, enable geometry mirror and pattern why this option and meter meter as well as uh, some relief kind of things so before going to start this uh, we need a tab so let me create a simple tab here so i'll just go to sketcher environment and create a simple rectangle okay click finish and we can see the tab here click ok so now we have a flange here and uh, we have an option called uh, uh, relief so before explaining the relief let me create a simple uh, flange here with 20 mm and uh, a 90 degree angle so click ok and we have one more flange suppose if you are creating an one more flange here uh, then uh, you know you can able to see the <coughs> relief over here this is a corner relief and there is a relief and then there is a corner relief one more thing over here so i'm just going to tell you how this uh, relief works so let me keep it as a center and i will select this face so as soon as you select this uh, edge you will see the center flange here and uh, this is already explained and now we have a relief here as you can see here there is a round relief uh, which 3 mm and uh, 3 mm depth and uh, width which this can be controlled using uh, uh, sheet metal parameter which is my first video on sheet metal workbench so if you want to override you can just go to here and use a local value and you can change it if you want uh, <coughs> either you have a round relief or you have a square relief over here and we also have a none uh, which is not a realistic so this if you can able to give like uh, similar kind of without any uh, relief uh, then it will have some stress concentration and uh, the you know uh, strength of the sheet metal component will reduce so you always need to give a uh, relief when you have any bend like this uh, and this there will be a corner relief when you go to a full length so you have a corner here so which will be in corner relief so the, what happens is here uh, I think bend face and I think we need to create some different kind of uh, uh, you know <coughs> model in order to explain you these things bend only and bend face and other things so what I will do is I will just go here and uh, do this flange and I will keep and inside so okay now as you can see here uh, now we have a bend only corner relief so this is a corner relief and uh, the normal relief will be comes in when you have created a center uh, flange and at the end or other features. So when you are using a full length and then you have any adjacent flanges so you will come to uh, this corner relief will come into picture. So bend only is the one where uh, the, there is a bend here uh, which is trimmed as you can see here uh, this portion of uh, uh, you know uh, bend is trimmed and we have another option bend and face so which will trim this bend as well as this face both will be trimmed 
and we also have an option called bend face chain so it will you know um, trim the bend and as well as face and we, if any existing you know um, uh, faces which are adjacent to this face uh, those things will also be trimmed so this is how this uh, relief works guys uh, it is very important when you are uh, designing any component any of the sheet metal uh, component a corner relief is very important so next we have uh, in a flange uh, there is will be you know enable geometry mirror and uh, meter so i'm going to explain this um, let me you know remove this and create some simple model i'll just go here and try to edit this sketch so okay let me trim this click finish okay and now this sheet metal comp uh, you know feature is updated tab feature is updated now we have uh, an option here inside the flange command that is enable geometry mirror and pattern so i'm just going to explain this how it works so in order to explain this this is a simple model that i have created and let me create a one more flange over here at the center as you can see here at center uh, flange is created and i will click ok so as soon as you click ok we will go to mirror feature command so hopefully this will be available in here so i'll just go to mirror feature and i just wanted to mirror this feature and as soon as i click this we click ok and when you see that you see that uh, when you click mirror feature uh, <clears throat> it will not be asymmetrical as you can see here our flange is here and this is shifted to here because it is created at the center so it has taken the center of this uh, edge so in order to avoid that what we have to do is inside the flange command we have to activate this enable geometry mirror and pattern and once you activate and click ok so this will be exactly at the mirror this is the one of the use of uh, uh, this feature guys if you want uh, you can use it uh, whenever it is required so now what i will do is i will just explain you how this uh, meter works as you can see here so for that i am just going to delete this and also this and i am just going to create a flange here uh, with this and this and it should be in full length so and i am just going to give an angle of uh, in order to make it as intersection over here so if you have any uh, situation in which the two flanges are intersecting uh, some kind of uh, you know like this so in order to avoid this second of in intersection you can just give a meter as soon as you give meter uh, you can see here uh, this will be exactly you know uh, touching each other so this is the one use of this uh, meter command uh, so you can use this as well whenever it is uh, required for you so next we have is uh, a flange inside this and there is only one command that is match face is missing uh, not at discussed so far so let us discuss this and for that i'm just going to you know open one of the model so i just open this uh, you know model in order to explain you how that uh, match face works so uh, you have if we you may have a situation where you need to you know create a uh, bracket you need to create a flange over here in order to match this face so in this kind of situation we can use a match face where i'm just going to you know uh, go into this uh, bracket and i'm just going to you know change this bracket mo modify this uh, bracket so this has to be you know extended and it should come on this face so that is our requirement so so this actually this is a sensor which is in uh, some other component so i just wanted to take a uh, uh, failing geometry and let me select a face and this face i just wanted to take inside this bracket this failing geometry is already explained please go to my assembly tutorial uh, playlist you can just get it in uh, there and now we have this linked face over here and i'll just go to flange command and i'll just create this flange as you can see here this flange is created as per this given input and now i will just go to until selected keep this as outside 
and match face until selected so i just wanted to select a you know plane here or else you can also select any surface so i'm just going to select this and as you can see here uh, if you extend this surface this is exactly matching to uh, the surface of this component so it is not only you know extra creating an uh, uh, a flange over here it is just extending it is given an offset uh, of some uh, distance according to the component and then it is uh, you know uh, just exactly matching to our component as you can see here since uh, this is uh, inside the component uh, we will just give this as material inside so as soon as you give material inside uh, this flange will come out and it is exactly facing on um, this component so this is how this uh, match face works guys so this is the end of the flange command hope you guys uh, understand how the flange command works and this is very very important uh, flange command is mostly used in sheet metal workbench guys uh, please practice yourself and if you have any doubts you can just comment me uh, and i'll try to answer thank you guys